Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's get this finished. All right, let's not lose focus. I just have a few problems. We are going to multiply. All right, um, we're going to do just using the distributive property and using FOIL. After that, I'm done. Okay, just a quick reminder what is I squared equal to? Negative one. It does have a value. Okay, and that actually helps us simplify. All right, so let's do um, here this example. Um, oh, I'll do this. Eight times negative two I. I'm going to start easy. I'll give you a few seconds, and uh, I'm just going to tell you negative sixteen I. That's all you do. Yes, let me know. Oh, yep. Oh, I got that one. Yep. So you wouldn't break that down into like four? No, no, no. There's no square root. In this one? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't, you, there is none. You don't see one, do you? Well, I mean, the square root is, well, since it's a negative. Yeah, but there's no square root, x squared, or anything. You're okay. just saying, the directions would simply say simplify. No, but last night there was one that was like negative and then square root and then negative whatever the number was. Okay, let me get through these and then I'll see what you're talking about. I I, I know they got a little crazy. Let's see, four i times negative two i. All right, simple fact. Four times negative two is negative eight i times i is i squared. All right, so now we have negative 8 times negative 1, which is 8. Yeah. All right, so I'm kind of making these up as I go. Sort of. Mm. All right, here we go. Let's, let's do a foil. All right, look at this. Let me move this up. This one is more complex. We are going to use foil. All right, so the first terms in each are 3 and 5. What is 3 times 5? 15. Outside, 3 times negative 3i is negative 9i. Uh, inside, 5i times 5 plus 25i. And last, 5i and negative 3i is negative 15 I squared. Oh, wait, we didn't do that last night. We were doing it. It made us get rid of the eyes. I haven't gotten there yet, Jenny. Oh, okay, okay. I know. Just hold off on the questions until I'm done. Yeah, maybe we confused. Maybe we did something different. There's nothing different about this. Last, literally, the eyes went away last night. I'm not done. I'm not done with this problem. Okay. All right. The middle terms will simplify. Negative 9i and positive 25. How many i's is that? Okay. Guys, algebra 2, algebra 2, negative 9 and positive 25. Thank you. All right, I'm just bringing down the 15. Now we have. Look what I'm getting ready to do. I'm kind of doing an extra step. Depends on how you want to do it. What is I squared equal to? Negative, Negative one. one. All right, so 15 plus 16i. Negative 15 times negative one. Positive, Positive 15. Still not done. What do I need to do now? Combine, Combine what? Which are 15 and 15. 
30 plus 16i. I may have added an extra step, not the end of the world. I just want to make sure you see i squared is negative 1. Watch your sign. That's as hard as it's going to get. We'll do one more. 4 minus i times 6 minus 6i. Try that. See how you do. Here is my work after the first step of FOIL. All right, so far so good? What's my next, what, what do I need to do now? There's a couple ways you can go. What happens in the middle here? Um, you can, um, negative 24 um, minus 6. Which I, is what? Um, negative 30 on. Um, Okay, so we're just simplifying the two middle terms. I'm going to bring this down, 24 plus 6. What is I squared? Negative, negative 1. Oh, um, negative right, one. and it ends up being negative 6. So let me just rewrite everything down. All right, one more step and we're done. Combine the like terms. So 24 minus 6 is 18 minus 30i. Mm -hmm. And that is it. Yes, ma'am. Um, I got the same thing except for the 24 minus 30i minus 6. I did the 24 minus 30i squared minus 6. Okay, the middle term, there's no square. You're, it's like adding x's and y's. You're just combining them. Okay, we're not multiplying. We're adding and subtracting. That's all you're doing. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to hand you this midterm review. Okay. Listen to me carefully, though, because you still have me tomorrow, Monday, and Tuesday. I am going to look at, we're going to break this down by sections, okay, because remember, I did not have y'all at all first quarter. Um, pretty much, I think I did most of it last class. So let give me a second. I'm going to pass it out. Y'all can go ahead and start working on it. I am telling you, I wouldn't do much of this for homework because you're going to have plenty of time in class. You have a lot going on. I don't want you to go home stressing and doing anything unless you have a tutor, unless you want to do it. I'm not telling you not to, but your assignment is just to stay on top of the review in class. Okay. So um, are you all okay with that? 
Yeah. Okay. Um, the review is longer than the exam because we've had to shorten it because you have shorter time. Okay. I don't know if you're aware, you only have 65 minutes to do your exam. Okay. And how many questions did it? Uh, on the exam, there are 49, but I will tell you, there's about 20 of them that very quick calculator, yes, no function, not function, um, that, that, that sort of thing. So um, it's all multiple choice with the exception of a couple of graphs, but you have an answer sheet. It, it's pretty basic. It, in fact, it's very cut and dry from the review to your exam. Um, and I know like it's like all your um, exams and tests are like on paper, but I'm like 